What is going on guys and girls? How doing today? It's Anger Roleplay here once again guys. And today I want to explain um, why I played the highest league, why I decided to play the highest league. And why I think it's actually one of the best leagues in a long, long while. Well, the reason why I actually started uh, playing highest league is because I actually enjoyed the league mechanic more than the previous leagues. I didn't enjoy micromanagement. But this is kind of a cool league and when I started doing the highest I kind of like the thing and uh, it's actually is quite fun I think and it's more fun than micromanagement micromanagement just crafting multiple fucking shit in the game so I think it's pretty nice and sweet and really cool and it's quite complex surprisingly very complex league a lot of work has been done uh, on this part by GGG uh, for this uh, I'm really really appreciating it so yeah, I just like the league and I decide I'm gonna play it instead of standard. Although I will still play standard, I need to uh, do a couple of builds and the characters I have are on standard league. So I'll be back there sooner or later too. But so far I'm playing highest and I'll continue with playing highest as well. I'm already level 89, almost 90 on my first character, so everything is pretty good. Now, why do I think that Heist is one of the best leagues in a long, long while? Well, the reason for that is quite simple, actually. Back when the Conquerors of the Atlas expansion was announced, uh, they changed the Atlas system, and now we had to grind way, way more Atlas than before. Previously, we practically just made it like 150 maps, and then just non-stop... Uh, ping pong the guardians till we get uber elder and that was it the conquerors at the atlas we have the conquerors we have the watch tones we have cyrus we have multiple cyruses we have dozen of conquerors to do all the time so it's an absolutely enormous grind we also have the bon new bonus atlas completion which is basically doubles the amount of maps that I need to do to add it to get the full bonus. So that's an absolutely crazy amount of grind on the Atlas that you really need to do if you are the OCD completionist of uh, the game like me. And uh, I was always been completing everything I could. And um, in the Delirium League, um, I s decided I'm going to grind the Atlas for the last time. And I actually completed everything there. Uh, so when the Atlas appeared, I quickly didn't like the new Atlas system. It was a long, long grind just for the sake of the grind. Too long in my opinion. And But you know, it was all fresh. It was all new. And I decided I'm going to definitely go all in on it. And I am quite enjoyed it, but not so much as the original Atlas. The next league, I think it was Blight. I already started forcing myself into doing the Atlas grind because I just, before the league started, I kind of already, you know, had this feeling that I need to do all this fucking shit again, all these maps again, all the Conquerors and Washstones again and again, and it was already a little depressing feeling, and in the Delirium League I already was absolutely not having fun with the atlas grind whatsoever i just did it because i wanted to uh, get to the very end game to cyrus 8 awakening where i could um, put my builds to the maximum amount of test pressure that's what i do for all my builds i'm testing them to the absolute maximum possible end game uber elders shapers cyrus 8 at the maximum awakening level this is where i uh, test all my builds for functionality and where i uh, discover the weaknesses and what i need to patch what i need to fix what i need to make them stronger and faster and uh, whatever cheaper at the same time i need to get to the end game in order to do this you need to go through the astronomical amount of grind like 20 plus watchstones multiple awakenings hundreds of maps like 300 plus maps you need to grind through all the bonus uh, to get the maximum bonus i already did not enjoy it i stopped enjoying the atlas grind completely at this point so what uh heist gives me uh, is actually a game inside the game and a very good game now I know that a lot of people do not like heist, they are super bored, it takes forever to go for this heist, but the reason why I enjoyed it 
I enjoy it so much because it actually takes so long to go through this shit. Because it's a game inside the game. It's like a mini game. I was very impressed what they did with this. Uh, there was a dozen of NPCs, each with its own storylines, fantastic voice lines. For the first time ever, we also have an absolutely insane, um, this kind of a rogue hideout place where we, you can teleport for the markers. And uh, right now they disabled it uh, from being a, a, a public place. It's a private hideout now, but... When it was a public place, I was really surprised. It's like, you know, reminds me of some big MMO hub town where like it, hundreds of people walking around doing some shit. Just, you know, messing around with traders, f having fun, you know, interacting, whatever. So it felt really weird for GGG to make something as massive as this, like a big MMO town kind of thing. And it really, it really felt very interesting and fun and fresh, and it still is pretty cool. Uh, all these NPCs with the different skills, different things, the blueprints, the heists, the you know, the, 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 I also missed this sense of danger because you know, not only the damage that the shit does in this heist is pretty insane. There are different bosses there. But the fact that you can be locked down and get stuck within the loot and um, just don't make out with this uh, or just die and drop everything on the ground is pretty insane. We've never had anything like that. Uh, this is actually the first time in a long, long time when I felt like and I'm losing something if I... If I don't complete this shit, I will actually lose something. You know, for things like the incursion where you just need to jump in and do something within 20 seconds, you practically don't care, like, if you don't kill anything or you just uh, don't uh, do it all on time. You just don't fucking care. I mean, you can always do it next time, right? But this thing, you need to get out of there every time. Otherwise, you just lose all the fucking loot there, which is really, really intense. The intensity that this league brings is very interesting. And I kind of feel this... Um, um, I, I kind of like this feeling. It actually reminds me a lot of the uh, Dark Souls feelings when you are running with a bunch of souls. And you decided you're going to just go behind the corner, you know, and realize there's like a... It just gets smacked by some boss or killed by some ambush fucking assassins just jumping on top of you and then you die. It's it's actually quite, you know, a, a similar feeling to the Heist League. So, uh, like I said, the reason why I'm enjoying Heisting so much is because I fucking hate the Atlas grind. And I do not find it fun anymore. And the reason why I completely speak, skip Harvest League is because I absolutely didn't want to go through an absolutely enormous grind through the Atlas system. I have everything open up on the Standard League. I get thousands of exalts. I see absolutely no reason to grind the Atlas anymore. I've done this dozens of times. I've been playing for 15 leagues in a row and I don't want to grind for even more Atlas now. Even in the past, it was kind of a little annoying uh, over the years, but right now it's just a like, crazy amount of work. And the fact that I'm doing it right now is just because I, there is heist. If there was possibly something different than heist, I would probably not even enjoy it and I will not even play the league. I will be still playing standard, guys. So, um... The only thing that depresses me is the uh, like the amount of bugs in the game. I keep on crashing all the time, and I haven't crashed so much in a long, long time since the Legion. But this, I'm just crashing all the time. I just fucking thrown out of the game, and uh, it's quite annoying and depressing indeed. So I really hope they will fix this shit out, and uh, we can go and heist like they should be. So that's my thoughts on Lee, guys. Let me know in the comment section below. Are you enjoying the heist or not? Or you are skipping or you are playing standard or not playing at all? Or are you just waiting for them to patch this shit out? Thanks for watching, guys. And see you next time.